Welcome back, everyone, to Crunch Snunt Coop. I broke it dead. I, that was English, maybe. I don't know. Last time I played a level and died a lot. This time I'm going to play a boss and die a lot. There's a there's a there's a plat in here. He likes to flex whenever he has an audience. He's a Sentai hero or villain. Nice butt. Nice tiny, tiny, tiny butt. What? Well, you know what's funny? I'm playing Bandicoot 2, so I actually tried to do a, a slide jump. It's gonna mess me up a bit. Oh, look at my eyes, aren't they beautiful? Hey, wanna rock? You like it? Oh god. Don't throw those at me! Nah. Whoa! That was really stupid of me. I, I've got a bad habit now, or when I die, I say, whoa. Look at that butt. It's so tiny and insignificant. Whoa. No, if I shouldn't have gone over here. It's gonna be one of those where I'm just gonna die like an idiot because I'm too busy trying to make dumb jokes about his butt. I wonder why people think I'm a furry when I'm talking about a furry character's butt. Meh. You know, steroids are not good for your health, young man. Don't you show me your koala boobs. What if Koala Kong is actually a woman? Ah! Zarya's fursona. Yeah, just throw it at me. Where, where are you gonna throw it? Oh, over here. Okay, cool. Go wait for the cart, and then hit him in the face. Now I just gotta do that a couple more times. Now things are gonna get harder, because they're going to drop TNT around me. Ah! Okay, I just gotta wait for those carts. And... What?! Fuck you! That's bull crap! No. Okay. There, Morty! Hit him! There we go. I live. For now. Yep. Yep. Miss me! Whoa. You know, I don't understand why I can't be Coco in boss fights like this. Don't so explain to me why. There's not really a good programming reason. Seems a little silly. Maybe it'd mess with the space time continuum if Crash didn't do it. Crash has to be Koala Kung. Everyone's favorite koala. You know, I don't know why they made a koala muscular. That's just terrifying. Koalas are already terrifying creatures that drop on people's heads and kill them. No! Please. Your omnipotence. Have mercy. Did he take four hits in the old game? I actually don't know. I know, um... Papu Papu only took, uh... Whoa! Bastard. So when am I getting my pity Aku Aku? I could use one. Or two. Or seven. I'm not a fan of this boss fight. Really, the boss fights in this game in general, I'm not too keen on. I don't know, there's it's a lot of waiting. And I'm impatient. Boss fights in uh, Crash 2 are a little better than this one. Uh, Crash 3, I think, has my favorite boss fights. And uh, Crash... Um... Actually, I never played Wrath of Cortex. I can't really say anything about Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I never played Wrath of Cortex. I, I own it. I got it for like two bucks. How did I not die? I, I mean, I shouldn't look, look a gift horse in the mouth, but, you know. Oh, it's what that one got me. Can I get a... Can I get a... I want a... You know, Aku Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness. I think my favorite part about Aku Aku, I just learned, is that he's voiced by the same guy who does the Grim Reaper from Billy and Mandy. So now that's all I hear. Whenever he talks, which is not in this game. He doesn't really talk until the third game. Aku is free. No, this cannot be. 
pretty easy. Eh. No, please. Koala Kong's rude. I'm just gonna say that right now. I think it's because of all the steroids going into his head. Got him. I was actually a little worried there. Because it was a little delayed. No, please. Koala Koog. No, Koala. You hit the you hit the TNT, that was your first mistake. Yeah. No. Don't don't do this to me. Don't do me dirty like this. Oh good. And now! There we go. I missed it the first time, but hey, I still got him. Come on, fight me! You won't fight me! Come at me, bro! Bye. That only took me seven minutes to complete. I'm good at video games. You did terribly, Dan. I'm floating in to tell you this. You piece of shit. You should stop playing Crash Bandicoot right now. Now I will float away. Now that you know you're terrible. At least I'm not Dark Side Phil. I got that going for me. It's not much, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take what little I have. Heavy machinery. Failing a bonus round doesn't cost lies. Retry it. You know, I do wish they spiced up the loading screens a bit. I think my one uh, complaint about this game is probably the loading. Uh, well, not really the load times. Because, you know, once the game's loaded, it's fully loaded in. So that's not, you know, that's that's a good thing. Though I do know uh, the way this game works versus the old game was... How the old game would work is it would render things as you would get closer. So, like, everything wouldn't be rendered yet. Um, which is also what kind of reduced load times. No, honestly, I kind of surprised they didn't do that with this game. But then again, maybe something with uh, the higher poly graphics makes it harder to do that. You know, and make it not look like total asshole. Should I jump anyway? Uh, can I make this jump? For a second there, I was like, did I break something? Did I do something wrong? Because I'm known to do that. Let's see, is there anything up here? No. Just need to... Just need to break that great crash bandicoot. Oh, one thing changed. I don't know if I mentioned it in, uh... Any of the videos, but... If you haven't picked up on it, the Wumpa boxes, those, the, you know, the ones where you uh, jump on them repeatedly and you get multiple apples. They're Wumpa fruit, you bitch! Uh, the Wumpa apples. Uh, you, uh... In the old game, I think it was like 10 to 8 jumps in the the old PS2 ver not PS2, PS1 versions. <laughs> yeah, in the old PS1 versions, it would take you uh, several jumps... In this version. Okay, that's that question. I was curious if I could jump on them. You think with the top being kind of just, you know, not really defended, that you know that would be like an enemy you could just jump on top of, but I guess not. Well, I'm glad I experimented with it. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. GI Spo I don't remember what I was talking about earlier. This is what happens when you're about as crazy as the bandicoot you're playing as. I just realized this one eye is bigger than the other. <laughs> I don't need lives! I'm just too good! This game's insulting me, thinking that I need extra lives! I don't even need this Tanya token! I should've just pushed it away too! I don't know what the hell I did that for! Okay. One, two... Three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. This is a good commentary. My commentary is the best commentary, the greatest, the, the tremendous is to see is. Uh, I'm never wrong. You're wrong. Five. There you go. I actually thought in my stupid, um, horrible impression of Drumpf that I fucked it up again. I wouldn't put it past myself. I fuck up things a lot. Unlike, um, 
I mean, no, I'm a genius and a god. I never fuck up anything. If you think I fucked it up, you're wrong. Whenever I think of an idiot who doesn't realize that they're wrong, I think of him or Darkside Phil. I won't lie, the first... My favorite time of ever being told by the audience that I was wrong... I don't mean, like, when I'm actually wrong, because you guys correct me all the time, and let me be real with you. I on I actually do like that you correct me, but one of, one of the dumber times was when I was talking about why I don't like Sonic CD and Sonic CD, and that guy got mad at me. It's like, oh, it's just because you're bad at the game. It's like, hey, I'm bad at Crash Bandicoot, and I think this game's great. That, um... And I'm bad at Sonic 2 and... No, Sonic 3 and Knuckle, but, like... That's one of my favorite games of all time. One of, not my absolute favorite. Uh, my absolute favorite is still, and it will probably always be Gunstar Heroes. And I think Freedom Planet beats it out now. Like, the more I think about it, I think Freedom Planet 1 beats it out. Freedom Planet 2 looking good, but I don't really know. It seems like it's going to be more um, of an adventure game uh, than the uh, previous one. It might not be as linear, I'm not sure. Though the first stage was pretty linear. I mean, we'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see more when the game's out. But I am looking forward to that game. I thought I hurt myself. You know, I, I probably shouldn't complain. Gift horse mouth. This is usually where I kill myself after I'm like, Yeah, you know, it's, I almost died. And then I, you know, talk about it. And I missed an Umbreo head somewhere. I have no idea where, though. I wish that camera zoomed down just a little bit. I will say, I think the camera's a little bit better in this version of Crash Bandy Scamp. But, uh... You know, it's not the... It's still, you know, could use, use a little help. Cause I th but they were trying to make, you know, it feel like the clay ethic. Without being too different. But to be fair, they fixed the controls of the original Crash Bandicoot. Because the original Crash Bandicoot... I, I, I can't play the original Crash Bandicoot. I, I mentioned that before. I actually really didn't like Crash Bandicoot, the first one, as a kid. And it actually turned me off in the series for so many years. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the gem because I don't know where the last Umbreo head is. Oh well. This wasn't a hundred percent run anyway. Unlike the other games, it, you get you actually lose content when you get the, all the gems. You lose a boss fight. It's kinda lame really. You get a cool new cutscene for the other ones. And you don't lose any boss fights. Well, Crash, your sins have finally come to fruition. Feel the weight, the horror of your own sin. I, I was speaking words there. I'm very poetic. What's the next level? Um, there's a level I think it is. I think I'll stop because I'm looking at the time right now. One of the cool things about update switching to OBS is I don't have to worry about glitches as much. And also, uh, I have a nice little timer there. I mean, so did Witchmajigger, but you know, this is better. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll save it for next time. I hope you guys are enjoying Crash Bandisnap. And uh, I will see you next time for more Crash Bandit Snap. Have a good day.